and all my camos are in here. Hello from Birmingham Airport Station. Um, just waiting for my train home. I've just come back from Romania. Um, I've got a bit of a wait, so I thought I'd make the most of the opportunity and um, show you what luggage I'm using for traveling. So, if you can see, that's my non, it's a camera bag with non-camera equipment in. These days I'm just using it without camera gear in because it's lighter. And all my cameras are in here. So what I'll do, I'll flip the camera around so I'm not at a weird angle. And I'll show you what I fit into this small bag and I'll tell you why I do it as well. Okay, so this is actually a free bag that my parents found in a charity shop. So it's not, I'm not Nikon branded or anything like that. It just happens to be a useful size of all the many camera bags I've got. This is useful. Okay, bag number one. This has got three LED light panels in it and all the cables. Uh, inset bag number two, so that's got lenses, there's I think five lenses in there, plus batteries, plus all the bits and bobs, anything that's heavy. There's a GoPro E4K, right in here. Camera one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have a six by nine folding camera. M3, Leica 3A, Leica M Digital M8, Leica CL Film, Leica CL Digital. And 645 folding Fuji GS645. So, seven cameras in one bag. Um, lenses, I can quickly show you. I'll show you a few. I can do one hand. Right, one. I won't get them all out, but you can see there's lots of little lenses in here. This is why I love the Leica LTM lenses because they're so tiny. Um, I can show the lights. I have a video I need to do on these lights. So cables, light one, the red one, two, that one, three, in the here the silver end. See here, and cables. So, let me switch back to my face for a second. So I've basically just travelled with seven interchangeable Leica mount lenses, seven cameras, two with fixed lenses, three lights plus a speed light, a GoPro, uh, what else? And then I've also got all my kit in the, the larger bag. I'll quickly show what's in the larger bag. It's only clothes and nothing exciting. Oh, there is a light stand in there. Everything else is just kind of closed. Um, I can show you. But before I switch the camera around, this is how I travel with low-cost carriers. So in the UK, low-cost carriers such as Ryanair 
have a 10 um, kilo weight limit but they also permit you to travel um, priority boarding which allows you to carry a stick and hand luggage. Now they don't weigh the hand luggage as long as it's under a certain size. So what I do is I carry maybe 20 to 30 kilos in my hand luggage, in my second like um, priority bag, which doesn't get weighed. And then I carry 10 kilos of clothes and like my light stand, anything that won't fit into the small bag in my large bag. So that means I can carry 30 to 40 kilos Um, on my model trips and carry loads of cameras and everything else that I need and I'm not really limited. In the past I was using this bag and carrying kind of big Hasselblads and things like that or I'd carry uh, my second bag would be a bag big enough for say a Hasselblad and a couple of big lenses and then a small Leica camera. Um, at the moment I'm really enjoying the Leica kind of thread mount super tiny size um, this is the LTM mount lenses so I'm using LTM mount lenses on like M bodies because the these older lenses are smaller um, and I'm using folding cameras for medium format rather than Hasselblads and things like the um, Mamiya RZ645 which is just is an awesome camera and it's amazing for portraits but it's just too big to carry I could carry an RZ with maybe one big lens or seven small cameras. So uh, yeah, if you do the math as they say, or maths as I say, um, I'd rather have the variety. If you're only going to sit in a studio and shoot portraits then you probably are better off with just a Mamiya. But because I'm shooting some portraits and then I'm shooting some um, faces when I'm exploring with running, I need some cameras suited for running, some cameras suited for portraits. And then I'm using some cameras I'll either just be testing or whatever. And then I'm using digital cameras for the models and for backup. And then I'm using the analog cameras um, for my own benefits. So that's the main reason. Explained the large bag has nothing interesting in toiletries, dirty running clothes. Um, there is a light stand at the bottom, I'll, I'll try and find it in a second. There's a light stand which goes diagonally across the length of this. Um, this is a camera bag for travelling, so I've left one set of dividers in. But I've taken the second one out to give more room for the clothing. I've got flash here, um, various electronics for charging, batteries and things, film, bags with expired film and bags with expired film and fresh film, microphone for, for recording when I'm not using an iPhone. And there's a few bits and bobs in there, but nothing too exciting. So yes, to summarise, for my travel I use um, low cost carriers, priority boarding, I put all my equipment in the hand luggage and then put my bulky equipment in the main luggage which gets weighed and then that way I can do both. Um, if I'm not carrying the running equipment I carry more cameras but in winter months I have to carry more running gear so because it's colder. So vests, things like that, all take up more space. But um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. You probably know it all already. There are different ways to do the same thing. Some people have the cameras on their person while they're going through the airports. Um, I've not really tried that. But all people use those like vests with like, lots of pockets or jackets with really big pockets. And then if you've got a nice say an SLR shooter, DSLR shooter, Nikon guy or camera, a Canon person or something, you can put your zoom lenses like in big pockets like this and go through that way. But personally, I can't be faff with having a coat full of pockets to then sit with on the whole plane journey. So, yeah, the, the small likers work well for me.
I'll post, I'll do another video soon. The other question people ask is um, how I find models. So I'll do a video on how to find models and I'll link it somewhere. And I'll also do a video on how I, how I travel on a budget because I travel quite frequently. So I need to do it quite cheap. So I've kind of perfected it over the years on how to do bargain, bargain style um, traveling. Uh, You'd be surprised at how, well, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but you'd be surprised at how little money you need to do model shoots overseas. Well, anybody go overseas to do anything, I guess, but for me particularly, for model photography, I managed to do it quite cheap, so I'd rather do 10 trips as a tight ass and not spend much money than do one trip in a luxury hotel. So, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll try and put that together in another video soon. Okay, thanks for watching.